Hello learners, welcome back to Constant Learners. I hope you're all not stressing too much about your studies. If you are, take a minute, calm down and then let's get started. So the topic for today is features of our language. Now our language is of course a very important language and knowing its features is also important because it is very widely used in data analysis. But also this is a very frequently asked questions in university exam point of view. The question paper that I saw was RTM Nagpur University question paper. But if this question has come in your university exams also, please comment down the name of your university and the years when this question has been asked. It will help other students immensely. All right. Now, another point that I need to point out is that um, even though this is a very technical kind of question, but you do not need to memorize anything. Just remembering a few things will help you to write rest of the answer easily because this question has been asked for six or seven marks and memorizing a six or seven mark answer is a tough task, right? So you don't need to memorize, just remember a few points and then easily you will be able to write the answer. I hope my video will help you in that. Now let's get started. First thing that we need to remember is that R is an open source programming language and software environment all right so this is this will become your first point but from this first point we can write three other points what is an open source language open source language is uh, the one wherein the developer has not uh, put any copyright claims on the language right that is we are allowed to study the language we are allowed to work in this language we are allowed to produce codes in this language and we are also allowed to share those codes with other people. Alright, so that is an open source language. Then programming language we know that just like the language we speak to communicate with each other, programming language is a language that we use to communicate with the computer. Alright, and it is in the form of programs. Alright, and it is used to get certain tasks done. All right, this will become your third point. And what is a software environment? Software environment is a collection of programs, libraries, and utilities. Programs, we know what are programs. What are libraries? Libraries are a collection of programs or a collection of codes that help to get a particular job done. That is, it assists in getting the uh, specific tasks done. For example, NumPy is a library in Python, all right, and it is used to get the mathematical uh, calculations done or mathematical jobs done. Like it is used in um, the calculation of arrays or matrices, all right. So that is a library, all right. Then what are utilities? Utilities are components that help in getting the job done. That is, they also assist in getting the operations done, all right. So that was the first point and in that we created other three points. Next point that we can write is our language was developed by Ross Sihaka and Robert Gentleman at the University of Auckland in New Zealand. All right. Now R has a wide variety of built-in as well as extended functions for statistical analysis, machine learning and visualization tasks. Now, but when we talk about statistical analysis, the word statistics, what do we understand from statistics? The dictionary meaning of statistics is, is a, a collection and analysis of numerical data. All right. So statistical analysis using R is nothing but collection of data, then exploring the data, then uh, uh, displaying it, displaying it to analyze and identify the patterns and trends. All right. The final result of doing all of this is to identify the patterns and trends. So that it can help with the business expansion or business growth. All right. Identifying the patterns and trends is uh, the most important aspect of 
the whole data analysis right we are analyzing the data for the same thing all right and how do we do this like how do we do statistical analysis i hope you've heard of mean then standard deviation regression all right all of these and a lot more etc are the ways in which we can get the statistical analysis done all right then machine learning involves data extraction machine learning we've already discussed in some previous videos machine learning involves data extraction then uh, we have data cleaning then we have data loading and data transformation and why are we doing all of this we are doing all of this for predictive modeling okay so all of this comes under machine learning and what are visualization tasks from the name itself we can say that visualization tasks are nothing but the graphical representation of data graphical representation means what in the form of maybe histograms or uh, pie charts all right i hope that this much was clear all right so you do not have to memorize anything the first point will be it is an open source programming language and software environment explain all of those three points second point will be it was developed by who and where that will be your second point and third point it is used for statistical analysis machine learning and visualization tasks and we can explain all the three points all right now next is the most important aspect of r is that it is an interpreted computer language which allows branching and looping as well as modular programming using functions now what is an interpreted computer language interpreted computer language means what that uh, the r system or the environment of r has an interpreter it has an interpreter which directly executes the code without compiling it that is it does not need a compiler to compile the language in an object language to compile the code in an object language all right so that is why we say that r is an interpreted computer language which allows branching branching means what branching operations for example an if statement all right in if statement we are branching if the condition is true then perform certain task correct and if the situation is false perform some other task this is nothing but branching all right and looping is to repeat a certain action again and again like for example by using while loop while x is greater than or equal to 4 or uh, sorry x is less than or equal to 4 then perform certain task or exit from the loop so this is nothing but a looping uh, operation all right so r supports both branching and looping operations then modular programming using functions means what what is a modular programming modular programming is a concept of dividing one program into multiple modules okay we divide the program into multiple modules depending upon its functionality okay depending upon the functionality we divide the program into multiple modules that is nothing but modular programming i hope that this was clear another aspects of r is that it can be integrated with procedures written in other languages like c c++ .net python etc all right and of course we've seen this it is an open source language that is it is freely available all right language is freely available and also uh, it can be uh, compiled for other versions also other operating systems like linux windows mac etc all right i hope that this much was clear now from if you remember these points we can easily write the features of r in short we will see what are the features of r the first point can be r is a very well developed language all right 
it is a well developed language it is very simple the second point could be it is simple yet very effective programming language all right then we know that it is used for statistical analysis and data visualization so the third point could be data visualization that is an important aspect right when we can visualize the data we can understand it more clearly something that you see is far better than something that you read or you listen about right so that is data visualization is important aspect of our language all right then presence of vast library of r packages that allow it to be extended with other packages or connected with other packages from mysql or mongodb or hadoop etc okay so r can be combined with uh, the packages from other uh, places also like mysql mongodb hadoop etc all right then next is fifth one r has an excellent data handling and data storage facility all right now we have to analyze the data so it definitely has to be able to handle the data and store the data now since we are talking about storage of data let's talk about it also supports relational databases all right our language supports relational database next point is r provides a large coherent and integrated collection of tools for data analysis that is the main aspect of our language that it is used for data analysis and that is what we are studying here right then it provides graphical facilities for data analysis and display either directly at the computer or printing at the papers right so the data analysis when we are performing data analysis we can visualize the data using graphical representation and we can also do it on the computer or we can get it printed on the paper that is also possible in r all right then we also saw one point that it helps in machine learning right so for statistical and machine learning operations it allows regression classification it allows for clustering then recommendation and text mining all of these are features of our language all right so just remember a few points and from those points try to build your answer and that will be very easy you don't need to memorize a lot of it i hope that whatever i have explained was clear all right so that was all for this video and if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and if you could spare a minute please write a comment in the comment section below about um, uh, what would be the next video that you would like to see how did you like this video was it helpful or not uh your comments really make me understand whether my work is understandable or not whether it is helping you or not please subscribe to the channel uh we're discussing big data analysis and we're going to try and complete the whole syllabus for big data analysis and uh, thank you so much for watching